Oceo. Hope everybody's having a good April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, this is not an April Fool's video, by the way. But anyway, about five days ago, we told you we were going to be incubating our eggs. Well, we uh, decided to do some modification on the incubator with the humidity system. Uh, the way the incubator is set up right now, you have to take the lid off and put the water in it. And we didn't want to do that because obviously every time you remove the lid, it changes the temperature. It drops the temperature and the humidity. So we wanted to keep it regulated. And so my husband did some modification and I'm going to let him explain what he's got going on. Hold on just a second. Okay, here's my sweetie. He's going to explain what we have going on with our incubator. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you the modifications we made to it. Uh, we actually don't have it fully intact because we wanted to share with you what we've done so far. But, as she said, we're with, dealing with the humidifying system on it. And I'll show you basically the end results, or almost end results because we still get to glue this down inside here which eventually we'll use some uh, hot glue to hold this in position but we've made a simple T is all we've actually done with uh, C PVC hot water wa hot water line and we've already established our measurements on everything on our little what's this what kind is this little giant mm -hmm. a little giant here I don't know if yours would be the same but this is ours and of course each measurement you have to calculate for your caps or T's and so forth and just for I don't know I guess uh, simple um, just to know things whenever you do these things you have to calculate for the actual thickness of the cap or even the T but each fitting should be the exact depthness of the uh, size fitting itself. For an example, this is a half inch CVV, CVC, so naturally the uh, pipe goes half inch inside the fitting. But you have to calculate for the rest of it also, otherwise it's going to be too big or too little or too tall or too small. But anyway, these were our measurements, 6 and 5 hooks on our up stem, 5 and 3 quarters to the left and six and a quarter to our right now naturally down in here we've actually cut out sections in our little screen where our reservoirs are because that's the ideal is to fill these reservoirs up with this one little unit and of course in the bottom we've set it down here we estimated where our holes we're going to need and we drilled a little bitty i'm pretty sure those are like oh 16th inch holes exactly where they should fall in each one of these reservoirs now i don't have this one glued together and to be honest with you i don't think i'm going to glue it together because the fittings are actually tight enough that they wouldn't leak anyway but anyway naturally it sits right underneath the motor here and then it clips down over here like so and of course like i said once it's all said and done we'll actually hot glue this in position so it will stay in this position at all times and then naturally when it does this we are to be able to just drag our top right over pop it in on the top and drop her down and then naturally we use the original cap and cap it in and it's that simple but anyway we're going to do a test on it real quick run some water through here see how well it's uh spreading out through the reservoirs and see if we've uh, accomplished what we want to do. We'll get some water and uh, we'll let you do it with us. Okay. Cut. Okay, I think we're going. Okay, we're back. I've decided to let the wife go ahead and fill the reservoirs. Uh, we've already established how much water these trays hold, which was what, darling? About two cups. About two cups. Mm -hmm. So the ideal is naturally to pop the cap off set the funnel in and fill it up and we'll see how the reservoirs fill hopefully they fill evenly that's the ideal okay alrighty then go ahead and pull it off darling okay now naturally she's gonna lift it up and it's going to probably move what's your little cap there 
our little setup's probably going to move, but that's because we don't have it glued into place yet. Put it over to the left. All right, and start pulling it apart there. Take this off. Yep, take it all apart. Let's see how the reservoirs work. Set that off to the mm -hmm. right or left, whichever. And pull it up. And set it off and put the screen up. Perfect. And let's see. All right. I don't know if they can see the water in there or not, but. Yeah, not sure if you can see the water. I can see it through their picture here, but it looks like it actually filled in darn near perfect on each reservoir. So it looks like we've accomplished our task. The only thing we'll do differently naturally is like we said, uh, oops, I pushed a button. I hope I didn't mess it up. Uh, like I said, is we will um, uh, glue, hot glue that little setup we had to our egg turner here which will stop it from moving around and what have you so and she's gonna just drop that all back together and like she said the objective here is to set it up so we don't have to take the lid off and put water in it and take the lid off and then put water in it which messes up the actual temperature and humidity at least that's the ideal and um, anyway, we will start filling it with eggs here pretty quick. But you just seen how she put it together there. Of course, she wouldn't have that problem once that stem is hot glued into place. And that's it. And here you go, darling. That's all you need. Okay, before we put the eggs in the incubator, um, I have gone through, as you can see, some of these eggs are really dirty and nasty, so I don't want to use those. But I have gone through and got the cleanest ones, and I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing here with this egg light. You take the egg light and you put the egg, kind of hard to do with one hand, bear with me. Put the egg on top of the light and you can't really smell there you can a little bit but you can see if there's cracks in the egg this one looks good as long as I don't drop it there you go but you can see there's no cracks in this one and I will finish doing that with all of these because the incubator holds 41 eggs I have checked all of these so far and when I'm done with this I'll get back to you okay I came across the egg that has a little bitty peck hole in it and I wanted to show you see right here that that will keep your egg from not hatching so if you find any little bitty holes or cracks you don't want to use eggs like this I just thought I would show you this one. Okay, we got the eggs checked with the little light as I shown you. And we got them loaded into the incubator. And my honey has that piece that he was talking about glued in there. And I'll let him explain that. Well, there ain't much to explain. I mean, as you can see right here, we just basically hot glued it in these two positions. But the one thing I do want to point out is we actually had to do that with this top intact. Oh, let me get this little cap off of here. Before we could glue it, we actually had to have this in place because we needed to know what angle our little spout was and naturally it has to set in place. And the down part was is I actually had to pull these little uh, viewing glasses out so I could actually get inside here with the hot glue gun and tack those in place and of course naturally waited for a while to let it dry and uh, there's one thing I also wanted to point out that I didn't mention earlier is this little cap this is the original cap that was here now we had to make this hole a little bit bigger in order for it to get us our pipe through here but and more importantly I actually had to rim the inside of this pipe out in order to, for this cap to actually fit inside of it. So I just want to be sure and point that out just in case you thought it might actually just fit in there. It doesn't. But um, that's where we're at on this. 
and uh, like wife said we're already loaded up eggs are all tested and I guess we'll crank it up and go from there and uh, I just want to mention something we're not experts at this we've just done a lot of research and a lot of studying we like to do that before we do anything and uh, we're not experts so I want you to know that but hey we're trying our best so you'll learn from our failures hopefully okay back to you daughter okay all right well I hope you learned something from this video please like and subscribe to our channel and have a nice day